Welcome. In this lesson, we're going to continue on our discussion with mask. As you can see here, I've created some masks for layers one, um, for one, two, three, four. I'm going to create another layer on five, so I'm going to select five. I'm going to click the create layer mask icon. Six, I'm going to do the same thing. And seven, I'm going to do the same thing. And just to let you know, the next tutorial is a fun tutorial. It's, it's not advanced by any means, but it's a typical Photoshop fun thing to do with masking. Okay, in this layer, what I've done is, if you see the three, here I'm going to select three to make it active. If I turn off the visibility, you're going to see two. Under two, you're going to see one. And under one, you're going to see zero. And the same thing applies for seven. You're going to see six, five, and four. Now let's see how masking works. If, since it's a smart object, I have to make sure that the mask is selected. There we go. Make sure my paintbrush, I'm painting in black. Opacity is 100%, as you see up here. And what, what's going to happen when I paint over this three? Okay. The two should be revealed. If you guess two, that's great. Why should the two be revealed? The two should be revealed because on the layer three, black conceals the number three, but allows everything else to be shown. Since everything else is transparency, you see the zero and the seven. Okay? And this is why you see the two, because the two reveals everything. You don't see the one because the one is directly under the two. All right? Now we're going to go to uh, number two. And this time, instead of painting with black, let's lower our opacity to maybe 50% this time. Okay? And now let's paint the number two and watch what happens. You see, it doesn't erase it quite fully, does it? You still see the two and you still see the one. And look at the mask. It's a light gray, 50% gray. Okay? You, when you paint in shades of gray, it's either, it's either going to be... Um, how do I say this? You're painting in partials. So if you paint in black, it conceals. If you paint in white, it reveals it. But if you paint in shades of gray, you're painting in intermediary steps. So if I already applied 50% once, watch what happens when I paint again. It's going to apply another 50%, and then you can see the one slowly appearing. And see, and see how this gets darker each time? As you can see. Painting again, and again, and again. So we can see that it took several steps to accomplish that. Now if I go to the number one and I reduce my opacity let's say to 25 percent and I paint, look how that barely touches it and but it subdues some of the color because some of the white is coming through and then I can just increase it 100 percent and just get rid of the one if I wanted to. That's the power of masking. Now what's great about this um, is that I thought that I erased all of the number one, but I didn't. I still have some of the two showing instead of the three. And this is the common another common mistake with mask. You gotta make sure your make sure your mask is correctly done and make sure that you cover all areas. So I have to go back up to number two and erase parts of number two. And you see, look, I still have number three showing through. I have to go back up to number three and erase that. I think it's number two. And that was number one. And there we have it. Masking in less than three minutes. And we can apply the same thing uh, to number seven. So let's go to seven. And let's paint over the seven. And select the mask. And what do you think is going to happen? Yes, you're going to see the six, just like that. Isn't that great? Now I can, I can skip to five. Paint on the mask and watch what happens. You don't see anything, do you? But something's happening on the mask, isn't it? So why is that? Because the 6 is revealing everything, thus hiding the number 5. If I turn off the visibility of 5, then you see, or turn off the visibility of layer 6, and you see the 5 was concealing the 5 itself, then you see the 4 was showing. Okay? So in the next lesson, you're going to have a little bit more fun with masking.